Okay, hi there, it's Jeff here with the first in a series of key diagram videos for macroeconomics. We're going to be working through some of the absolutely key diagrams across the macro course out of the 2022 papers. In this video, if it's okay with you, let's share a few minutes thinking about some of the potential gains from trade using a production possibility frontier diagram. Now, you can use a PPF diagram to show diagrammatically the potential gains from specialization and trade. Of course, this is all based on the law of comparative advantage. Key to drawing this diagram is to make a nice clear difference, uh, a marked difference in the relative opportunity cost for two countries that might be engaged in trade. So we're going to walk through this diagram together. Uh, in, the, in the diagram, you'll see Brazil will have the absolute advantage in wine and steel. It can produce more of both. But you also find that Mexico has a comparative advantage in wine production. In terms of relative opportunity cost, Mexico has the advantage in specialising in wine. Now, if both countries specialise according to comparative advantage, and then they trade at what we call, and this is a really key phrase, a mutually beneficial terms of trade, which numerically is going to be two units of steel traded for three units of wine, then both nations, in theory, can increase consumption of both products. So that sets the scene. Um, and if you get the benefits from trade, a country's consumption possibility frontiers with trade lies beyond or outside their domestic production possibility frontier. And that's that's the key to this diagram, because you want to show to the examiner some of the, the gains from trade in terms of economic welfare. So here we go. Uh, you only need one diagram for this, one uh, developed diagram. So we're going to be looking at uh, two countries, Brazil and Mexico, uh, initially producing steel and wine and then trading. So output of steel on the y-axis, output of wine on the x-axis. Don't worry in the exam about getting all the all the precise gradients correct. The examiners are not going to check. They're not going to get their, uh, their slide rules out and things. Here's Mexico's PPF. They can produce either 100 units of steel or 200 units of wine. The key here is they have to give up two units of wine for one unit of steel. That's their opportunity cost, their internal opportunity cost. PPF, of course, here is drawn as a straight line because of the assumption of constant returns. Brazil has the absolute advantage. They can produce 250 of steel in total or 250 of wine. So their opportunity cost is one for one, whereas for Mexico, it's two for one. You can see here that Mexico is much closer to Brazil in terms of its output of wine. And that gives the, that gives the answer, of course, as to why they have the comparative advantage. Now, Mexico could be halfway along their PPF, uh, producing half of half, half and half, uh, non-specialization, 50 and 100. Likewise, Brazil could go 125, 125. So pre-specialization, both countries are at the midpoint of their PPF. OK, so for gains from trade to occur, a mutually beneficial terms of trade need to be agreed. Obviously, both countries need to uh, need to specialise, first of all. Let's watch the typo there. Let's just change that. Both countries need to specialise and then trade. Uh, but in this case, both countries can benefit if two units of steel are traded for three units of wine. Let me just quickly explain that for you. You see, Mexico at the moment has to give up two units of wine for one unit of steel, whereas two for three means it gives up three units of wine and gets two units of steel. Better for Mexico. Uh, uh, Spain, so Spain, Brazil, <laughs> gives up one unit of steel for one unit of wine. Well, now it's going to give up two units of steel for three units of wine. Again, it's better off. That's what we mean by mutually beneficial terms of trade. So let me just go through Mexico. Mexico, for example, would fully specialise in wine, then go up to 200, and then could trade at two steel for three wine. In other words, it gives up three wine for two steel. That's better than two for one. In theory, they could give up all of their wine and get 133 units of steel. So the red dotted line there is the consumption possibility line with trade. For Brazil, not Spain, but Brazil... <laughs> Uh, they're originally giving up one, one for one, but now they can get uh, give up two units of steel. They can get three units of wine. 
So they can increase, in theory, their production of steel up to 250, and they could then trade it for 375 wine. Can you see that the red dotted line there has the same gradient for both countries? Because that's a mutually beneficial terms of trade. Now, you don't necessarily have to put in the final answers, but it's clear that both countries can move to a higher level of consumption of both products if they trade at two steel for three wine. So there has been an outward shift in the consumption possibility frontiers, and that is how you show the potential gains from trade. There's Mexico's consumption possibility frontier with trade, and there's Brazil's. It's important when using this analysis diagram to state the assumptions underlying the theory. We're assuming constant returns. There may not be. We're assuming that resources of factors of production are mobile between industries, between steel and wine. We're assuming that there aren't any significant barriers to trade or so-called trade frictions that allow trade to take place. And of course, we're assuming the absence of externalities of production and consumption, which could impact on social welfare. OK, now don't forget, you can use a PPF to show the gains from trade. There is the alternative, which is to use standard supply and demand diagrams to show some of the welfare effects of trade. The benefits of that include that you can then bring in concepts such as consumer and producer surplus. So in my next video, I will work you through uh, a supply and demand diagram to show the benefits from trade. Huge thanks for joining. Stay positive, stay happy, and see you next time.